Okay, I'm going to be reviewing the footage for Zen Esports. Um, in this footage, there there's a fight going on near the Inferno. This fight is crucial to uh, gain control over the Dragon, which is the objective, and also control over the bot lane tower objective. Um, I will play the footage and then I'll explain uh, what went wrong and what we could have done better. Okay, so right here is a mistake, and um, I feel like it's much wise, wiser for the Blitzcrank to be in front of the Sivir, mainly because, to be honest, there's no reason to chase the Jinx at full health. Um, Sivir also does not have uh, very much lifesteal compared to... Um, well, neither ADCs have lifesteal, but Jinx would come out on top of this if uh, if we have vision of the uh, the cane or don't have vision of the cane. So it is much better for the server to be behind the Blitzcrank uh, in this scenario. Um, instead, what we should have done is we should have just taken out vision off the Inferno. And then reposition ourselves where the front line is in front of the uh, the ADCs or the carries. Um, so let's play the footage and see what happens next. Okay. So this is this is um this is called over chasing. Especially when you don't have vision of the jungler. When this happens, this can... Like, the whole point of killing Kassadin in that fight was to gain numbers control over the objective, which was the Inferno. Um, it was not a wise decision by either Hira or Nimbus to pursue the chase. Um, so, both members are both responsible for... Uh, call, trying to call out the retreat rather than the pursuit. So now they're in a situation where it's a 2v3 and neither LeBlanc or Gragas is there to assist. So let's see how this plays out. Okay, so. In this situation, the bot lane got out safely, and and the uh, enemy jungler is dead. The block comes into assist for numbers advantage and also to secure uh, vision and control over the inferno. However, there is one big mistake that Leaf has made. He decided that he wanted to ult right onto the t Tom Kench and the Jinx. Um, this ult is, is, is great to reposition the enemy, however, he should be aware that the bot, our bot lane was at very low health. Making the decision right there, just to ult them out of position, the enemy out of position, was an advantage, was an advantage for the Jinx to uh, gain a double kill. Um, the ult was absolutely not necessary uh, for this uh, for this um, retreat because the whole point was to get the bot lane out of there safely. So we will continue to see uh, what happens after the crack is over. So at that point, the Gragas ult was used, and it did not really uh, achieve anything rather than um, give the enemy the double and also giving them the advantage. So let's see how this plays out.
Okay, so basically we gained two the two trade, so two for two. But to be honest, we could have just saved the bot lane, retreated, and also resecure the objective for Inferno. 